I'm not sure if the blockchain itself will be the solution. What is uh, more uh, important is that it's raising the central question, uh, you know, as a critique of uh, re uh, centralization, because we we have witnessed an enormous concentration of power and resources in data centers, in uh, in in mono monopoly firms, in cloud computing. Yeah? So there is an enormous concentration of power happening in few hands. And what the blockchain and cryptocurrency have done, uh, at least is put on the agenda uh, that we need to re-decentralize the, the web again. Uh, whether you know, this technology itself is going to achieve that is another issue. Uh, and we can discuss that. Uh, and we can discuss uh, whether you know it should be done via a Ponzi scheme, huh? whether uh, huh? whether we like uh, yeah, the pump and dump schemes uh, of the uh, of the ICOs, uh, huh? and whether you know we should accept, let's say, the the mafia structures that uh, are behind um, many of these uh, cryptocurrencies. Okay, that's another debate, but. Um, the blockchain is in a way uh, you know a phenomena a reflection of that collective will that is there which says uh, we should turn the internet again into a network of networks not one company not two social media no uh, but uh, really a, 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 a really a broad diversity uh, of ways of making money and ways of connecting to people and working together. Turkey also, Gezi Park and so on. It was a turbulent time. In that time, uh, there were also a lot of alternatives developed for social media. Now, this is, um, you know, seven years ago. Uh, so how much progress have we made uh, with these alternatives? N you know, not much, right? And this tells us something that um, you know the internet uh, is still growing and we're using it more and more but the concept the basic concepts have somehow stagnated and there is even a form which uh, you know some people, some people call regression the internet has gone uh, in the opposite uh, direction so if we want to change uh, this culture and reintroduce these ideas such as uh, decentralization uh, and, uh, and the creation of, uh, of uh, new networks, right? Uh, because the platforms are only further uh, centralizing, right? So we need um, to go away from those centralized platforms again and uh, establish uh, local uh, initiatives, local initiatives, uh, here in Ankara, here, you know, in many places, this is the key. So for us, the solution of this long-term uh, crisis and stagnation uh, is the development uh, of local uh, initiatives and not per se the adaptation uh, of global standards and um, services. So yes, and we believe that uh, these local initiatives will lead to a renaissance, if you like, a rebirth of the internet. And whether it's going to have that name huh, is, of course, not relevant. We're not talking about names here. And I'm not even talking about numbers. I'm not interested in Internet 2.0 or 3.0 or 4.0, right? We're talking about empowering people uh, so that they can um, work with all the tools that we have and give people again access to these tools.